Hi everyone, I'm going to teach you how to do this beautiful wrap that I'm wearing today. It's actually super easy and it is just a variation on the very popular beginner's luck wrap. It's amazing how this particular wrap, the beginner's luck style, actually when you know how to do it, there are so many variations and it's absolutely amazing what you can do with it and when you got that basic skill you can do tons of things um, so if you don't know how to do that wrap go to that video right now and learn how to do it learn how to do it in your sleep with your eyes closed backwards and forwards with every scarf that you own and then you can come back here and learn about this variation um, I tried to describe this variation a couple of times um, just typing, um, but it didn't seem so obvious. So I will show you how to do it on here. Um, so it's basically beginner's luck, but with a crisscross, um, the, the regular tie at the side, but also a headband um, place at the side here. This wrap is really great for those headbands that might just feel like the black elastic part is a little too long, or it shows a little funny. Um, this Gold Roses headband doesn't have that issue, um, but some other headbands might have that issue, so it's very good to just put it on the side and then it just shows that the part that you want to have showing. Okay, so I've tried a couple ways of doing this and this is the way that I find works for me best. Um, you are going to want to do the basic beginner's luck tie, which is one end shorter and one end longer, and you take your scarf and you fold it to fit your head. I'm wearing a signature shaper underneath here, so it's gonna be a little shorter than my usual. So there we go. And what you're doing is you're gonna tie it on an angle. I tie it so the part kind of going over my face is the shorter end. And what you do wanna be careful of is like, I, if you want it to look even and you don't want your shaper to show, you really have to tie it not too, too much at an angle and a little more at one side, like so, as you can see, like I'm doing right here. Because you are going to then come around this way and then tie a knot. So there you go. Love you, don't worry, it's okay. My husband's with the baby right now. Okay, so one, the one short end here and the one long end here. And now it's time to put on your headband and you can put it on, you can have it hanging around your neck first or you can have it around the back, it really does not matter. Um, but as long as you get it on the side, as you can see I have the nice side running really, really nicely. You can bring it more forwards, more backwards depending on your preference. And then you bring this side up and around, again basic beginner's luck technique. Except the normal beginner's luck would just tie here, but this is going to come forward in that crisscross style. So that's where you're going to be making those adjustments as to where you want the headband, where you want the crisscross to fall. There you go, like so, right here. And then you bring around the shorter end, bring it around front. And then tie it up, like so. You can decide whether you want to cover your ear or not. I'm having it cover my ear slightly. And now you can either leave it hanging with that end like this. I'm actually going to bring it around again. So I'm actually going to fan it out and kind of create an almost extra layery thing here. There you go. And then bring it up and around and just tuck it underneath this layer. Make sure all those fringy ends are put away. And again, you can pleat this if you want, fold this scarf nicely. You can bring the headband a little more forward so it's more showing, less showing, farther forwards, farther backwards. But I really like this style because it's nice and soft, but it gives you a nice angle look as well, and you get that kind of geometric off-center headband thing, but it's not too in your face. Of course, if you do it in super blingy bright colors, it can be a little more loud, 
but this is actually quite soft with the Lakeshore Bliss on. And you can do this with any scarf, um, any long scarf. So hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, bye-bye.